Welcome to part 7 of my buggy build. This video was an absolute bear to edit, so if you could leave a like, that would be greatly appreciated. Enjoy the video! So unfortunately this camera doesn't have a time lapse feature so I'm not going to be able to like set you up on a counter and have you watch this whole process. I will get a new camera where it can do that but I've been trying to just film and then speed it up in editing but that takes way too much space on the card. So uh, once I get a new camera then I can do the time lapse. Alright so the engine mounts are done. I've got the clamp right there but this is what it looks like. So now I'm just lining up the holes so I can mark the holes, drill it in the first one and then copy that onto the second. Okay, so I have the engine mounts all bolted on. Uh, don't mind the stacking watchers. I'll explain that later. Um, I just realized something. Look at this top bolt right here, and then look at this one. They don't line up. They're on a completely different level. I don't know why they did that. There's nothing different on either side. So that might complicate things a little bit, but I think I can get through it. So what I'm going to do next is put a steel bar through this in between these, weld it there, and then I'm going to have another steel bar that comes down from that. So the engine is all lined up, but it turns out in order to have this lined up ugh, with the swing arms, the trailing arms, whatever you want to call them. This is just going to be too close. It's not going to work. It's going to be extremely tight. And it's really going to impede on the passenger seat. So I'm probably going to have to extend the swing arms so that I don't have to have everything so close together. Okay, so I haven't filmed anything in a while. Um, I've just been trying to blitz this out. I got a job recently, so I really haven't had much time to like edit or worry about camera stuff. I just come out here whenever I get back from work and start working on it. So the engine mounts are finished. So if you look right here, so I mostly followed what Homemade Madness did because he did the same um, engine in a different buggy that he made. So there are these engine mounts right here on both sides. You have a uh, you have tubing running across from here, and then these two running down. Then one running across here to brace that up. And then here are the second engine mounts. We have a uh, square tubing coming up from here, mounting to this, and then the support for that coming over here. And it's the exact same on the other side. And then the back, we have that. Don't mind the welds. Okay, so it's just angle iron with quarter inch flat stock right here that I cut to match the angle iron with a hole drilled through it and then it comes all the way through and bolts in and it works awesome and then that this thing is also holding onto it so that's super strong and since the oil pan is so like drippy down I had to cut out some of the frame that I made you can kind of see it right there oh wait where is it right there see I had to cut that out. So yeah. So I need to pull the engine back out so I can weld everything up, prime it, paint it, put the engine back in, and then start on the final stuff, like the wiring, cooling, carburetor, stuff like that.
looking awesome. He hasn't been looking this nice since, well, probably ever. So, now I'm going to have to line, I'm going to have to extend this swing arm backwards so that the CD axles meet up with it. Because otherwise, the axles would have to be going like that. And that's going to cause a lot of wear. So these don't need to come back very far. I'm going to have to make a plate that comes back like to here. And then this mount, I'm going to have to flip around to right there. And then that should be it for that. Then after that's done, I can mount the engine, get the exhaust done, do all of that. So unfortunately, I'm not going to be doing the Power Wheels build that I said I was going to do almost like a year and a half ago. Um, I started put to put stuff together, and it was just going to look like a go-kart with a few pieces of plastic on it. It wasn't going to look any, like anything special. So I wanted to do a cooler cart. Now, this is a cooler, and this is a cart. Cooler, cart. And that's what I'm going to build. I like having a side project so I can work on that while I'm waiting for parts for another project. So here it is. I apologize for the low quality of this video when it comes to the audio and the uh, lack of footage and the lack of information. Uh, it's harder than you would think to go out and work on your project and set up a camera at the same time because in the back of your head you're always thinking, oh, is this camera angle going to look good? Oh, did I explain this? And sometimes you just don't want to do it at all and that's kind of what happened with this video. Um, I don't really know when I'll be uploading next. I recently got a job and I will be starting high school classes soon. I'll be starting uh, welding class. So, um, so I won't be uploading consistently for the next foreseeable future. But uh, thank you for sticking around, and I'll see you in the next video uh, whenever that may be. Thanks. Bye.